Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, a show that examines all aspects of sexuality, from physical to emotional to spiritual. Join our hosts as they discuss age-old questions, common misconceptions, and the latest topics surrounding sex. They'll tackle topics about sexuality from the complicated to the hilarious and everything in between. GSMC Sex Podcast is your show for all of your questions about sex, even some you might not have thought of yet. Welcome to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network, with your host, Andra, with a topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Today's topic is the blowjob and the great sex positions you can do that's going to pleasure you as his partner. And pleasure him at the same time while you're giving him a blowjob. Now, back in the day, it was just a girl went down on a guy and it was all pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. What was a girl getting out of it? Guy holding your head down there and he won't let you up. Well, we've just gotten to that point as older people. The blowjob can be worked out in both ends at the same time where you're getting pleasured as a partner at the same time you're pleasuring him. Now, the first position is the prop engine. This is going to require a toy, ladies. So get your favorite uh, vibrator out and make sure your partner is sitting on a couch prop where the position of the cushions you can put something in between them or on the edge of the bed because you need to prop your vibrator your toy your favorite little wiggler in between the mattress and the bats box string excuse me the box spring or between the cushion and the couch because it's going to stabilize it your toy for you while you're going down on it your partner. Now, you can ride your toy while you're giving him his pleasure of going down on his member. He's getting it and you're getting it. Don't leave yourself out of this. Things, times have changed. Next one, the hump and low. Now, this one requires a pillow or they do have sex toys out there that uh, have, they imitate the male body and member, or it's like a wedge. And you're going to need that because this is where this one comes into pleasure for you. While he's laying down and you're down below saying hello, prop yourself up on a pillow between your legs or your wedge or that sex toy and hump it and ride it as you're blowing his member. We're getting satisfied. It's all about pleasure for you, pleasure for him. And there's the, there is a toy and you can find this on Amazon because it sex toys are so open now you can get them anywhere and uh it's an inflatable cushion mount that you can use but I'm assured you can improvise now we all know about the old famous 
position 69. A favorite of the male population. And a good amount of females. In this, it's the yin-yang edge. And we all know what the yin-yang symbol looks like and stands for. But now, we're going to put that into pleasurable terms for us. You're both laying on your sides and in the 69 yin-yang position. While you're below in his member. And he's down on you. Move your hips away. Start teasing him a bit. Yeah, you know, you're getting your thrill while well, you're giving him his. So it's a tease, a little tease game in that position. The next one, the double down while he's standing up and you're going down on his member. Let's bring out our toy friend again. This one usually will call for something that's going to be stable and while you're blowing him, you can ride it and play with yourself. He's going to hold your head there. We all know this. So, while he's doing that, you're riding your, your vibrator, your dildo, whatever it is you want to call it, whatever it is you want to ride, ride it. Open wide and say, ah, now. This is the traditional position of 69. But the difference being is you move your hips or your lower part of your body away from his face, which pauses, you know, forces him to improvise on how to pleasure you where he cannot use his tongue. Well, she can't use her tongue. But you are pleasuring him. So he's going to have to use his hands. He's going to have to use a dildo or something else. But it makes him work as you're working. The mouth off. Now, this position, you're laying on your back, hanging off the side of the, you know, the edge of the bed with your head. Your knees bent, and your arms are on, you know, by your side. He's actually holding on to your hips and actually placing his member over you and into your mouth. So now he can also play around, or your partner of choice can play around by, you know, bending over and playing with you or licking you or whatever they want to do down that end, but he is getting pleasured by you. So, these are pretty interesting. I mean, the blowjob has graduated through the years. The slippery kitten. Now, we get, you know, our partner's getting hot while they're taking care of and giving that blowjob. Okay? In this Getting so hot you can't handle it while you're giving him, you know, pleasuring him with a blowjob. Straddle his leg and start rubbing and bumping and grinding it. Because he can feel how slippery you are. And this is turning him on just as much as it's turning you on. He's getting twice. You're giving him a blowjob and he's getting even more than he bargained for. With you Bumping and grind, feeling your wetness and your slipperiness going back and forth. Now, the stick shift. We all know what a stick shift is in a car. And when we're driving it, we're putting it into gears. When we are pleasuring that member with a blowjob, you're looking at it, you're working it as a stick shift. And you're, you're, you're thinking about riding it. Go ahead, get up, ride it. Stop, go back down, blow on his, you know, give Johnson some more. Then sit on it again and go, you know, ride it again. This is a total turn on for your partner because they're absor absorbing 
what you're doing, one, it's driving them crazy, two, and three, he's getting enjoyment out of the fact that you like the taste of sex in your mouth. And that's a total turn on to him. So those are some pretty good positions. We've graduated that blow job, integrated a toy of choice. And with so many toys out there, why not? The blow job is no longer just for him. It's for the partner as well. Play around. Get them more stuff really hot and bothered to the point where when it comes to sex and getting to that orgasm, you're both on edge and you can't wait to feel that and just go to town and explode, for a lack of a better word, explode into that orgasm. We're going to take a break here. And when we come back, we'll continue our discussion on different positions for ultimate blowjobs, which are going to satisfy both him and you. And let's get this one to the orgasm. No sex involved. Straight or. So get that drink. Get that snack. Find a comfortable place. And we'll be back. Still on the search of that one true love? On the limbo in this crazy world of dating, marriage, relationships. Well, listen to the Golden State Media Concepts Relationship Podcast. Your one-stop podcast for everything about relationships Welcome back to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network, with your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Now, in the last segment, we talked about different ways, and more up-to-date ways, to give that blowjob, and at the same time, letting our partners get that groove on as well. Now, as promised, we're moving it along. We're going to make that man come from that blowjob. Sex is not, and I'm going to look at this way, sex is not always that ultimate goal, but it is always fun. When you're with your partner, you're there to please him or her, and you want to be reciprocated. So it's a way of and pleasuring your partner. Right now, we're worshipping the third leg, the penis, his member, and blowjobs, which is something they all like. So, let's get started. Now, most of the time, and it's been said, if you heard it in conversations, and you can read articles, you know, you're giving a blowjob or a woman saying, oh, he held my head down there and I can't, or I can't give blowjobs because my jaw gets sore. You know, you, this is supposed to be pleasurable for you and pleasurable, pleasurable for him. Now, if you have difficulties with that, the first thing you can do 
is, or actually in conjunction with that, to give your jaw a break, to give your mouth a break. Use your hand at the same time. This way you're keeping him going. You're keeping that flow going, that steady uh, flow of the blow job. Straddle him, grind him, you know. You intertwine some foreplay in there. Our goal here is to get him to orgasm from a blow down. So, and we want to give it good. So, partners, think about this. In the process of giving yourself a break and getting him and working him, you know, you're teasing him in that blow job. Start sucking the fingers. Start, you know, exploring other areas and he's watching you he's getting even hotter and hotter as he's doing it you know as you're sitting there sucking his fingers you're still playing with his penis you're keeping it going keeping it going swapping between the two because he's watching it and it's just making him hotter and hotter and not being able to hold that back if you're in public. You can play around with teasing and what about the blowjob. Or if you're in a car, you're by yourself. It's your mate, your partner. Go down on him. He's got to concentrate on the road. And for the most part, they have a little difficulty with that. And they have to get to that point where they can't be left like that because... They're driving. They want you to finish and get them to that, you know, that end. So tease them. You know, you're running your hands over his balls. You're teasing his members so that when you get to the house or wherever it is, if he has to pull over to the side of the road and finishing that out, the end result is to get him to orgasm. So these are like a lot of different ways you can get that. You're getting him so hot that he can't hold it anymore and he's not going to make it to, you know, sex. The act of sex. I mean, remember, if you, you know, you blow, giving him a blowjob and he comes, who cares? Relax for a few minutes and start again. It would last even longer then. And this way you can really enjoy the sex. You know, now we've, we're sitting here sucking his fingers. We're playing around with his penis. We're blowing it time to time. We're teasing it. He is getting so hot and bothered. How are you going to tease his cock even more by kissing around it, touching it lightly? You know, it's give it sloppy kisses. Slopper it all up. Because all he feels is that wetness, that lubrication, and imagining what it would be if it was inside you. So, we're getting him to the deepest point, highest point, where he can't, he's just, just finished. <laughs> that blow dry job is going to drive him insane. Use your tongue. Go up and down a shaft of his penis. Stop from his balls all the way up. And just keep doing that. Don't put your mouth on it. Just use your tongue. It's driving him crazy. Saliva. It's making it wet. Your tongue's got that slight abrasive feeling, which gives a different, you know, a different sensation as you're just doing, you know, licking it, his cock. Then you're going to bring up, your, you know, after going through all that teasing and playing around with hands and tongue and lips and, you know, sucking on his fingers. And he's imagining what you're, yeah, he's seriously imagining what you're going to look like with your head in his lap. Go ahead. Put your mouth on it. Go up and down. Yeah. Granted, a lot of guys want you to a deep throat. 
Nah, I don't think anybody can really do that. I'm sure there are individuals out there that can. Then there are positions that you can use with, that will have your mouth and your throat in the same alignment for that quote unquote deep throat. We're not trying to kill us here. <laughs> We're trying to pleasure him and get him to an orgasm through a blow job. You gotta, you know, work it. You're gonna go down as far as you can in your mouth. Go back up. Play around with it. Just, you know, be safe <laughs> with it. But maintain a rhythm because you're going up and down on your mouth on his member. You know, he's imagining what it's like with you being on him. So this is where he's thinking, but you're giving him the same sensation from a blowjob. So there's where the that similarity comes. We're trying to imitate how would it be. So that blowjob is going to work, work him up to that level. And we need to, you know, sit back, you know, doing too much, you see him getting so excited, pull it back. Give your mouth a rest. Use your hands. Then start back up slow again with the tongue. Now he's already, you've already gotten him to almost to a peak. He's trying to get back there. If you take a step back, use a little bit of hand motion, start back up again. Use your tongue. Use your lips. Saliva him up there. Because this is what he's looking for. And all he's looking to do is blow. He just wants to come all over the place. Talk dirty to him in his ear. While you're giving your mouth a rest. And you're playing. You're jerking him off. He's still imagining it. It's still wet. He's imagining you on there. He'll probably tell you, go back down. But this is where, this is the whole goal of that blowjob. Is to tease, to get him to that, make him imagine what it would feel like. Or how it feels if you were straddling him. As opposed to blow dry, you know, give him a blowjob. That blowjob is mimicking that straddle. So just imagine you're wet in your vagina. Make him wet. Play around. The, your, labia, your lips of your vagina are wrapped around it. The lips of your mouth are wrapped around it. So there are, you know, get, get him to there while you're giving him a blowjob. Have him touch your pussy. Have him touch your vagina. Whatever it is you want to call it. Her, she, it, your tooch. There are so many names for that. But we're trying to, you know, get him to orgasm on a blowjob. And getting him to imagine what it would feel like. He's going to get to that point where he can't handle it no more and that's it. And that blowjob has just served its purpose. We're going to take a break here again. And why don't we replenish our drink? Get comfortable again. And we'll continue with different ways to pleasure them. To get them to that orgasm. Hand job, blow job, tease in between. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. 
From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network, with your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Now, welcome back to our final portion of our segment. Now, we've talked about how giving a good blowjob, what are some good blowjob positions? But come on, let's talk about some myths with the blowjob, and they are out there. Now, one myth is, should you swallow even if you're not a fan? And we all know what this means. Most men want to see their partner swallow because they want to get to that orgasm and let it loose. Now, if you like it, do it. If you can tolerate it, do it. But for the most part, most partners don't. So don't do something that you don't want to do. I'm assured it's not the greatest tasting stuff. Uh, we're not having chocolate shakes over here. Another man. Uh, men, or are all men, obsessed with blowjobs? And if you don't do it, do you feel as though he's going to hate you? Now, mind you, partners, men, it's an old, it's an old wise tale. Oh my God, you got to do a blowjob on your man. It's a requirement of being in a relationship. It's a requirement on keeping a man. That is not true. Not all men actually enjoy it. And they would prefer doing something different for the woman and watching them. You know, just them playing around with a woman's clitoris. Or, you know, and try and get her really hot and bothered. That's their enjoyment. It's not always about you going down on them. Next one. I mean, come on. The biggest myth is, and the biggest thing is, oh, are you going to deep throat? Now, is that the key to having that, you know, making that blowjob the best thing? Um, or is that the best thing and the only way that a blowjob is going to be enjoyable? That is not true. For most people who do give blowjobs to their partners, the majority of people cannot quote unquote deep throat. We are technically in most ways not mechanically built that way. There are ways to make it where you can probably take more in, I'm assured, with different positions, but it's not a requirement as long as you are able to pleasure your partner and his member. I think you'd be okay without deep throating it and hurting yourself because we don't want you, you know, our partners to be hurt. 
Now, there's only one, the next myth is there's only one position for Pluto. And can we all think about what that is? We all know that's not right because we just discussed all the different positions to give an orgasm. So we definitely know that that is a myth. Uh, next myth on our list, a blowjob isn't quote unquote real sex. Well, we've been taught to believe that having intercourse, penetration into vagina, is the most intimate way that you can be with your partner. Well, believe it or not, oral sex and giving a blowjob is very intimate. It shows your partner that every part of him is enjoyable to you and likewise for him to you. So, but you, you know, a lot of people don't see it that way, but it is true. Giving oral sex is very intimate. It brings you closer. As a couple, it brings you closer within that sexual relationship. Um, is it natural? Is a next myth? Is it natural for the guy to push your head down? Well, it's kind of, I believe, is just an automatic reaction because they are so intense in concentrating on the fact that you are giving them that low job that uh, they it's an it's an actual reaction. Is it something that's always that you can tell your partner to stop? It's not you know if you don't like it, stop. You do what is comfortable for you. Now, another myth is, uh, which most men, it's a total turn off, is, and you can hear these stories anywhere, uh, that if you touch your teeth while giving a blowjob, his penis will fall off. No. Uh, there is a truth in a way that, um, some natural reactions, from my understanding, is if the man, like, I mean, I've heard stories, but it has been known, I'm sure, that if you, if a man does something with regards to you, when you're giving him a blowjob, and it's a natural reaction, or it does something you don't like, and your natural reaction will be, to bite down. I just felt half the men out there just cringe. <laughs> Remember, fellas, your partner is there to pleasure you. And if you do something to them, they are going to react to you. And that is vice versa. But for them doing something to you that you don't like, or if you're in that moment of pleasure and it's a natural reaction, a response, a, ref a reflex, or whatever, to hold their head or something. This is, it goes both ways. So, you don't want your partner to bite you. Don't do something to them that they're not going to enjoy. Or they're not going to like. They're trying to pleasure you. They're trying to make you feel good. And that's their main goal. Now, another myth is that if you are giving a blowjob, you have to continue it all the way to the point when it comes. No, this is not true. That might just be enormous foreplay. Get you, you know, get your partner right to the brink. To the point where he just wants to go right into sex. It's foreplay, it is tease, it is intimate. You remember all of these. Um, you can mix it up, but if that's what you want to do right then and there, go to completion with the blowjob. Get him to come. I mean, it 
just depends on where you are and what you're doing and what you want out of it at that moment. So that blowjob can go either way. It could be used as floor play in a tease, or it could just be that's all you're giving right then and there. And the end result is to get your man to come. So now another myth is our mouths are going to give up enough spit to cover like the length of time is going to take you to give that blowjob. That's not true. Not true. Our mouths do get dry. Everybody's mouth gets dry. So give him a, br a break. There are flavored lubrications out there. Go get them. Makes it, make it taste like a lollipop as Goofy as that sounds, but try it out. But they have so many different lubes out there, you know, edibles that you can use. Go use it. And this will give you a different way of even doing the blowjob. So those are a few myths. There are more. But we, unfortunately, are to the end of our segment. And as always, practice safe sex, if not for your partner, for yourself. You are there to have fun, so enjoy. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, part of the GSNC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsncpodcast.com. Download our podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From sex and relationships to health and wellness, life and happiness, and even weird news. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast.